Hey my friends, it's me Julie back with another video. Um, I'm so glad you're here and um, let me just show you uh, if you are new here and you'd like to purchase anything, if you want to pause, this is what you can do right here. Um, so thank you so much for being here guys. I wanted to say thank you so much. A lot of you um, or some of you I should say have been sharing my channel in different places and I appreciate you so so much my subscriber numbers last I look were at 234 so they are moving and that makes me so so happy you have no idea so I appreciate you so much and I put this little Ray Dunn plaque way up here that I got from Kristen D's auction isn't it cute um I put it way up on my desk where you guys can't see it but I can see it to remind me you can do this. <laughs> okay, so we're getting closer to 500 and we've got that awesome giveaway. Don't forget about that. Today is Mystery Monday and we pulled vintage. So I've got a little pile of vintage things to show you and we are just going to get into it. So I pulled everything out. This is really cool. I know someone who's going to like this. <laughs> um, I pulled everything out of the bins this time. So I still have bags to open, but I have a little pile so I won't be picking and choosing. Um, and I think that will help um, with everything we talked about. But all of you guys gave me awesome feedback. I'm so thankful for that. Okay, trying to clip that. Okay, I'm failing miserably. <laughs> oh, <coughs> you guys, I have a cough. I forgot to tell you. It's a very weird cough. Like when it comes, it's terrible. I'm hacking my brains out, but it's not all the time, which I'm grateful for. So if I have a coughing fit, I'm trying to make this one go away. I might have to pause, but hopefully it will stay away for a little bit. Okay. So here's this one. Isn't it awesome? Michelle, I'm talking about you. I picture that as something you would like. <laughs> if you don't, it's okay. <laughs> that is really awesome. I love it. I think these are probably just acrylic. They're not cold to the touch. Let's see what our total length is. We have a total length of 16 inches, guys. So that includes the hook and all the little extender pieces, which are really cute too. They did not skimp out on the design there either. Um, this is not signed, but honestly, it really should be. It's beautiful. And we're gonna do $18 on this one, guys, 18. And did you see the number? There you go, $18. Okay. So I'm working on something so exciting, but I can't tell you guys yet, but I'm so excited about it. And I'm like, I got to get my brain back in this because it's been in that, <laughs> which is a surprise for you guys. And I'm so excited about it. Okay, here we go. This is one and a half inches. It doesn't say gold filled, but it reminds me of like all the gold filled brooches. You know what I mean? Really cute. This one's going to be $5, $5. Very pretty. Okay, this one's so funny, guys. And I do have another one of this somewhere of this manufacturer, or this designer. Um, I have an owl somewhere, but look at this baby chick. <laughs> Easter's coming, guys. Isn't it so, so cute? Um, it does have some wear on the chain. I don't know. I couldn't really figure out if this is the original chain. It's really a cool um, piece of jewelry, but it does have wear. Um, I just want you to see that. Let me see a good wear spot that I can show you. See the silver tone coming through or the silver color coming through the gold tone. There we go. And this one, how does it clasp? Where are you? Oh, guess what? It's an infinity. <laughs> Very cool. Isn't he cool? I think he's made out of resin. Um, so let me tell you the designer. Did I write it down? It's Raza. R-A-Z-Z-A. Raza. And it's a 15 inch drop and the pendant is 2 inches. And we're going to do this one for 20. And I do have an owl of this Raza company also. Um, I'm not sure where he is. He's somewhere in my jewelry cord that I've had forever. The three-year jewelry hoard. I don't know how to label everything. This is like the vintage extravaganza jewelry. And then, oh my gosh. Oh, okay, I know I've been shooting, shouting out Michelle a lot, but oh my gosh. I didn't know I had this. 
Oh my gosh. Michelle, let me tell you what's going on. Michelle is super cool and she has a cool car and she's in a car club um, with some other ladies and they call themselves the Queens. And she had asked me for a friend if I had any crown jewelry and I had found a couple things, but I totally forgot about this piece. I didn't even check this jewelry. So isn't that cool? So she might really like this. Um, it's going to be $7. It's two and a half inches gold tone brooch, but whoever gets it first is totally fine. You guys, um, that's how it works. Really, really cute. This is like a purple velvet there or velveteen or velour, maybe $7. I didn't realize I had that. So Michelle, if it doesn't sell, tell Heidi, that's her friend. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Ooh, these are cute, you guys. They remind me of Thermoplast, uh, Thermoset, doesn't it? It just kind of reminds me of that. Um, these are one and a quarter inches tall and one inch wide. They are some kind of plastic, I believe. Um, they are clippies, and they're going to be just $3. They're very cute, $3. So, you guys, I had a breakthrough with Bryn just before... <laughs> Well, I had a breakthrough, you know, two steps forward, one step back. I just put lotion on. That's one of those lotion boogers, <laughs> you know, <laughs> on your lotion when you haven't used it in a little bit. Oh, my goodness. All right, getting it off me. So we had this little breakthrough outside. I've told you guys that in order for me to play ball with Bryn, I have to take two balls outside. So um, I have to take two, and I have to trade her a ball so she'll go catch and then she drops one and we'll run and go catch. Do you get what I'm saying? Does that make any sense? She won't just drop it for me. So I have to have a, another ball to get her to play with me. And I went outside and I forgot two balls. These are really pretty, you guys. <laughs> Silvertone Clippies. They are Crown Trafari. Beautiful. Let me show you the market. I don't think I showed it very well. Come on, baby. Oh, upside down. Crown Trafari. Are you going to show? I think that's as good as it's going to get. And there is a matching brooch. Very pretty. And this is also marked right there. Oh, that's a pretty good shot of it. Nice. Um, so the brooch is two inches wide. The earrings are one inch. And this little gorgeous little set is going to be $20. $20. Okay. Next. So guys, I've got to put, oh, I have a friend's story, but hold on, I'll tell you one thing first. I want to put up on the community page something that someone made with um, broken jewelry. And it's not my broken jewelry per se, but people have bought craft lots and I do have craft lots available for sale. And it's just something that you can see how easy it is to take something, uh-oh, no stone. I'm going to put that aside and hopefully I can repair it for you guys. So you can take something broken and reimagine it into something else. So I will put that up on the community tab. Um, and also check out the community tab. There's more brooch pictures and the original BBBB is up there. Bev's bringing back brooches. Oh, and Michelle's up there that I've been talking about today. This is really pretty, you guys. It's got so much shine. Look at that thing. It's beautiful. It's one of those little scatter pins. So, so pretty. It is a C clasp. Um, it's going to be $5. It's just uh, a quarter inch. I don't think so. I would say that's a half an inch. Let's get my measuring tape. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Three quarters. Aha. Uh -huh. Three quarters of an inch, you guys. Super pretty. $5. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to start with this item. I had so many things trying to remember what I wanted to tell you. I want to show you this. It's something different, something I had never seen before, but this is a piece of jewelry and I'll tell you how. I couldn't find a sweater right this second to make this work to show you. So hopefully my description will be good enough. So, um, so I'm sorry. I just got a text from my husband. So how this works is you wear it with a sweater with a looser knit, um, a looser knit to it. Okay. Not as close together and small stuff like my house sweater wouldn't, wouldn't work. It's like a Jersey knit. Okay. So you want like, um, 
a looser knit sweater or cable knit. This is really good for a cable knit. Those are the ones that look like they're almost like braids coming down. So you can actually see the holes in the sweater, if you know what I mean. So the way you wear this is you would put it, let's say it's on a cable cable knot. Um, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> you would put this over it and then you would put this in behind or in front. No, in front of it, sorry. In front of it through the holes in the sweater and you would hold it there. Isn't this so cute, you guys? I was like, oh my gosh. I got a few that are animals also, but um, I'm gonna just do this one today. And I'm gonna tell you, um, sell it to you for $8 if you're interested. It's really, really neat. Not vintage, that's brand new. Um, but I had wanted to show you just to see if anybody liked it. To put my feelers out, right? Something different. I thought it was so cool. It is wood too, guys, it's real wood. Okay, let's see what this is. And I'll remember to tell you my Brim story. So this guy is an inch and a quarter. Beautiful. Oh, wow. That's so pretty. Um, inch and a quarter. And this one is going to be $12. Gold tone gorgeousness. Okay. You guys, I have to pause. <laughs> I'll be back. Hey, guys. I'm back. Sorry about that, even though you didn't really know what was going on, totally. <laughs> well, you didn't have to wait for me, I guess. My hubs is going to an appointment at a new place, and I would typically go with him for that, just because um, he has ADD, and sometimes he just has a hard time figuring out where he's headed. So, anyway, I stayed home today, so he needed a little help, and he's all set now, hopefully. <laughs> so, we're back to jewelry. Check out this baby. Oh my, my, my. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? So, so pretty. And it has a matching bracelet. Check it out. It is gold tone. The bracelet has a fold over clasp. It is in really good condition, except there is a little like, I don't know, rusting or something right there on each one the piece that's holding in the rhinestone, okay? Just be aware of that. Um, the necklace is in great shape. So pretty, oh my goodness gracious. Yes. Again, with the little rusting and seam spots. Okay, so let's look at the clasp. Box clasp, it works. I just tried it off camera. This guy has a 16 and a half inch total length on the necklace. And the bracelet is six and three quarter inches, okay? And I'm gonna do this whole set here for 35, okay? 35, it's stunning. It's not signed, I don't know why. It it like should be signed. Like why are you not signed, bugger? Okay, there we go. So I was telling you about Bryn and her breakthrough. So yeah, I was able to just throw the ball and say drop it and she dropped it, you guys. It was amazing. So while I was helping my husband, I was able to unbag a bunch of stuff though. So that's awesome. Okay, these are by Weiss. There we go, gorgeousness. Um, they are really, really beautiful. I would say they're about an inch. Um, yep, an inch, and we're gonna do these for $10. They are stunning. Okay, but then I brought Bryn inside and I was saying two steps forward, one step back. I don't know what her problem was she came in like a maniac and was like hopping on her brother like grabbing him like craziness these are merino you guys silver tone screw backs these are going to be three dollars they're an inch and a half i'm sorry four dollars they're an inch and a half on the dangle okay on the dangly okay we got a necklace oh my goodness siri leave me alone just wants to be friends so bad <laughs> okay we got a screw barrel clasp and we have some gorgeous malachite isn't that pretty you guys i think it's so pretty there is um a rough spot on the stone but i think it's from manufacturing not not damage um so this has an eight and a half inch drop and it is 25 very very pretty 25 I'm curious, you guys, want to find out if Malachite does anything on the gem tester? Let's do it. Malachite does nothing. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> oh, oh, here goes my cough. Please don't go crazy, cough. 
So honestly, because it's so weird, this cough, I'm wondering, Jeff and I did a ton of cleaning this weekend, like spring cleaning, like raising the dust up and all that. And I'm wondering if maybe that's it, what's going on, like all the dust and everything that we raised up getting me. This guy is an inch and a quarter, you guys, $4, gold tone. I'm wondering if I just breathe too much of that in. And I tend to, if I get sick, it's in my lungs. Like my lungs are like, I don't know, weak or something. I don't know. <laughs> These are awesome, you guys. Um, they do have some little, little wear on the enamel, but I thought they're too awesome to put in the misfits. <laughs> but the misfits are awesome too. But I just wanted to show them to you, I guess. These are Crown Trafari and they are stunning. And here is the signature. There you go. They are $5. And I don't have a measurement, but I feel like this might be important because they are bigger. They're like two and a quarter inches top to bottom, you guys, and they are clips. And they do have issues with just some enamel wear, okay? Um, that right there might be judge. <laughs> They're awesome, though, you guys. They're only $5 because they've got some issues. Okay, we're heavy on earrings and brooches in here. I hope you guys are okay with that. Okay, these are cute little button earrings. These are by, who is that? I forgot already. Oh, Richie Lou. And I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I'm pronouncing it phonetically. It's R-I-C-H-E-L-I-E-U, Richie Lou. <laughs> I think you have to say it fast, it sounds better. Richie Lou. <laughs> They almost like have a brassy finish to them, you guys. Very cute, very petite. Um, they are half an inch. I guess there's one little mark on them right there. Just be aware of that. Um, Three dollars. Yeah. So this cough is just bizarre. I've never. It, it feels different. Does that even make sense? It feels different than like a sick cough, like when I get bronchitis or something. So maybe it was a cleaning. I shouldn't clean ever again. That's the, what the takeaway is. <laughs> just kidding um okay this is a little I almost snorted did you hear <laughs> this is a little bent right here I just want you to be aware it's not terrible but it just is a little bit bent and I like to point out everything to you guys so look at how awesome this is though I mean you don't see a lot of pieces like this I feel maybe I'm wrong <laughs> it's a cameo um not cold to the touch so I would assume that's acrylic and you have some faux pearls and some gorgeous like peacock AB rhinestones in a gold tone brooch. It's two inches, you guys, and this one's going to be 25. 25. She is stunning. Love her. Okay, got a little cameo, a little scatter pin. Isn't that cute? Gorgeousness. Now, I have a hard time telling if cameos are real or not. Um, I've told you about my struggle with that. So let's do a little investigating together. What do you think? Dun -dun. Hopefully I can make this thing work. Sorry, blurry for a second. Yes, guys, I did it. Okay, so this one makes me think that it might be real. Do you see all those marks on the pink part? I don't have another hand. Those look to be carving marks. So that one really thinks makes me think it's real. Now, my next step in checking would be to see if the back is concave um, because shells are not flat. That would be my next step, but it's covered. So my guess is that this is real, you guys. Um, I guess they could have mimicked carve lines, but that's my best guess. Just know that when you're purchasing, my best guess. Um, I lost the little bag. It's going to be $14 and it's three quarters of an inch tall. 14. Very, very pretty. Um, still learning on the cameos. Okay, I have a necklace here. I believe this is milk glass, you guys. You can see it needs a wipe down and you can see like some glue issues. Do you see the glue there? It's absolutely fantastic though. Um, let's lay it out and I'm going to hit it with a gem tester just to see if it shows that it's glass. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, yes, it is glass. Um, I didn't like how the gem tester just read. Let me show you. So 
so the gem tester is not really, I'm supposed to be able to tell the difference with glass, okay? So, um, but if it moves at all, I believe it is glass. So let me, do you see it did a little move? I think it's glass. It was cold to the touch before I had my hands all over it. So anyway, I believe this to be milk glass. It is vintage. Um, it has a hook clasp that I'm trying to show you here. Not signed. I'm about to call. <laughs> um, total length is 16 inches and it's $20. And she really needs the bust, but I feel like we've taken a long time with her. <laughs> okay, $20 on that one, you guys. Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, we got some Sarah Cove clippies. Let's see, can I show you? Oh, and a little dog glitter. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you so much for that. Um, let's see. Sarah, oh gosh, the silver tone's heavy in it, guys, but it does say Sarah Cove. Um, really cute little clippies. Sil silver tone. I had a note of wear. Okay, maybe I'm talking about that little tiny thing. It's very, very little. Um, I don't see any other wear. Okay, so that's nitpicky wear, guys, but I want you to be aware of everything. They are one inch, and these guys are going to be just $2. Ooh, bargain of the day. $2. Okay, gorgeous bracelet. You ready for this one? We're gonna need the gem tester. I would say these are, um, this here is a kind of agate, possibly a banded agate. Um, I would say this is some kind of quartz, and I'm guessing, and I promised myself I wouldn't guess anymore. We'll check that. Quartzy. Some kind of agate again. Ooh, that's pretty, you guys. What is that? Ooh, I like it. This is interesting. Look, guys, one side is pretty green and the other side is has a lot of like red beige in it. Okay, let's get the gem tester. <laughs> this will be fun. Okay, so I don't think agates do anything. I can't remember. Okay, agates do something. They read on the garnet tourmaline iolite line. That's good to know. Going on to the one I guessed was quartz. Woohoo! She got one right. Um, I'm not sure on this one. Okay, interesting. So I was going to guess possibly a kind of like jade, jadeite, um, maybe a nephrite. It's weird. It has like gold specks in it, so I'm not sure. So I might need help from my friends out there. I think we got another quartzy quartz. Oh, we do. Another um, agate and then this weird blue stone. What? is this thing it's so pretty you guys I don't know that's where it read look at that could you see where it read I think you did I wasn't looking at the gem tester enough through the camera though yeah I think you can see it okay and then lastly I'm not sure about this one I was thinking like an emerald nephrite uh, emerald <laughs> jade jadeite nephrite yeah I'm going with that area and that's this stone Okay, you guys, awesome. So this bracelet is seven and a quarter inches long. It has a spring ring clasp. Very beautiful, gold tone. Um, I don't really see any wear. This one's gonna be 17, 17. Okay, let's slide the professor over here. I didn't do too badly. She didn't school me too badly today. Okay, here we go. Look at this, you guys. It is a sparkler. So, so pretty. I love it. Um, it's going to be $25. It's two and a quarter inches, top to bottom, and it is beautiful. $25. Okay, don't forget the big sales going on, guys. Um, be watching videos, checking it out. It's going on till Friday. Friday is the last day you can put orders in, okay? Look at this, you guys, it's beautiful. Gold tone, heavy, beautiful gold tone with no wear. And this is some kind of stone or glass. I'm not gonna put what my guess is. Did you just see it? <laughs> okay, I was told it was Jade when I bought it. Let's see what it is. Spring ring clasp. Um, it's an 11 and a half inch drop. So it's good length. 
and the pendant is two and three quarters. And it looks like it's kind of whatever side you like. Pick your poison. Okay. Okay. I think this is nephrite. It read, read on the beginning of the nephrite line and through, I should have shown you. Hold on, excuse me, sorry. Sorry for any of the, any of you that are not interested in this. Okay, so I'm guessing nephrite, you guys. Tell me what you think. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And is nephrite in the jade family? I kind of categorize it together, but I don't know if I'm right about that. And this guy is going to be 25, 25 vintage gorgeousness. Okay, I'm almost out of the things that are out of the bags. We have this little brooch. It could use a wipe down, maybe a little bit of wear on the tips if I'm being really picky picky. Uh, gold toe, <clears throat> this one is two inches, going to be $6, $6. Okay, let me move my bins, guys, so that I can reach easily. Okay, I'm back. And then we have a silver tone brooch. A little bit of scratching on it, nothing crazy. Two and a half inches. Here's the back. Oops, she came undone. She wants to get me. No getting me. There we go. $5 on this one, you guys. $5. Okay, and let's see. What else have I got? All right, I only have brooches out of bags now. Look at this stunner. Ooh -wee, I like it. So, so definitely clear rhinestones on the little bands. And these may have been clear, but they look kind of grayish, you guys. Like a little bit of a smoke to them. Another dog glitter. It is the season, guys. It is the season. My dogs get groomed every five weeks. And um, I used to not do that. But having a German Shepherd, I need to keep it on schedule because she they shed 24-7. So anyway, even with the amazing grooming they get, even with the stuff that I do here, they're still shedding, especially this time of year. Anyway, it's an inch and a half and it's 25 adults. So if you hate dog hair or if dog hair coming to your house in small amounts would bother an allergy, you might not want to buy anything for me. But I try my hardest not to let it in there. You guys, this is stumping me. Like, is this silver or gold? It's one of those stumpers. It's a, I think it's a very light gold tone. Does that make sense? I think so. And it's by Giovanni. Okay. It's going to be $5. It's an inch and a quarter wide. It's very, very pretty. These lines, the like um, etchings on there almost make it look like it's filigree, doesn't it? Like from back here. Really cool. $5. Oh, baby, I can feel my throat. I can feel my cough wanting to rear its ugly head. I think I have all brooches and earrings on the counter right here with me. Okay, this is Winard, or Winard, W-I-N-A-R-D. It is 12 karat gold filled, 120th gold filled. There's the, the name there. It's an inch and three quarter, and this one is going to be $7. Very, very pretty. Okay, I feel like I want to dig again because bear with me while I dig. I'm digging, okay? I know I probably shouldn't be digging, but I'm digging. I can't help it. All right. Yeah, we got some other stuff. Good. We just had so many brooches. And if you don't like brooches, you know? Oh, my goodness. Look what it is. More coral. I need to test it. Test. Where did the other one? There it is. Okay. Oh, I have this open. You guys, I put something over here. And this is cool. Okay, so in this one, the bracelet would be a bonus freebie, okay? It has an amazing box clasp that <laughs> works very well if you can do it. Do you see how cool it is? I, I'm telling you, it works fine. It's my nails. So the reason this is a freebie, it's free with this purchase, is because it looks like one of the glass balls broke right there. So somebody would either have to wear it and not care, I probably would do that personally or um, do a restring. Okay. Now this guy, check this out. Look at that gorgeousness. Maybe a tiny bit of wear on the edges of the flower. 
it is also a box clasp and it does work there's a little wear on the clasp um this guy is not signed and it really should be it's beautiful and these are gorgeous yellow glass beads so so pretty can you picture wearing it like this i can like a little asymmetrical action with the flower for spring oh yeah i like that okay so if we put the clasp in the back there is a shorter and a longer strand so the drop to the shorter strand is 11 and a quarter inches the drop to the longer strand is 12 inches and the bracelet is seven and a half inches and it's a freebie and this whole set is going to be 22 22 awesome i really like that one okay earrings we got some crown trafari pretty little buggers they are clippies let's get a little glimpse of the name maybe i'm looking over my camera again which does not work for you guys okay there we go they are really cute very nice condition, you guys. Really, really nice condition. Let me see. They are an inch. I don't believe that. <laughs> what was I doing? Sleeping? Actually, some of these are bombs. Don't tell me. They're a half an inch, you guys. Half an inch. <laughs> these are going to be $8. It's okay, Mom. Don't worry about it. I know you did a ton of jewelry. <laughs> and I appreciate you helping me. Okay, let's see here. Um, why does it say set? Oh, it was supposed to be a set, but it's not. Okay. Um, Gold Tone has this amazing fish hook clasp. Isn't that so cool looking? I like it. Um, these are glass. They almost look like, sh I don't know, like a sherbet or something. Not a sherbet because that's one color. Like, oh, like a creamsicle. Yes. These are creamsicles. Beautiful. So this has a 13 inch drop and it's going to be 20. $20. I remember why it's a set. I was charged like it was a set, but it was not a set. So we fixed that. Oh, I have another piece that uh, Heidi might like. Heidi loves butterflies. This is really pretty. Gorgeous. I believe it's pewter. Um, let's see, what does it tell me? It says, oh, Birds and Blooms, limited edition. Birds and Blooms is a magazine, okay, about birds and blooms. <laughs> I have a keen grasp of the obvious, don't I? <laughs> okay, and it says limited edition. So I would think that this maybe was a little pin they would give out when you, <clears throat> when you would have a subscription. And you know what, guys, I'm taking back the pewter. It feels too light. Okay, so not pewter, like an antique silver tone. And it's an inch and a quarter, and we're going to do this one for just $3. $3. I don't have a price written on this. Can you guys bear with me for a second? And ignore my wacko voice that keeps going in and out. <laughs> okay. Ooh, what is this? This is cool. Oh, I like it. Hmm. What do we think this is? Do, I think this is plastic made to look like abalone. What do you guys think? That's what I think. It has a hook clasp. It is signed, it looks like. It says, oh, it's a Lisner. It's a Lisner, you guys. Ooh. Yeah, I'm thinking like a therm even a thermoset plastic that looks kind of like abalone. That's my guess, okay, guys? That's my vote. And there's the end. Let's get a total length on this baby total length of 15 and a quarter inches it's beautiful and it's gonna be just $12 oh we didn't check out the other side okay so there is glue residues do you see that you guys and there's a little wear here okay I just want you to know about that okay awesome $12 okay um got a little coral it's a little coral, coral, uh, coral chip and, and hematite. I'm having a hard time with talking, guys. Hematite beets. Very cute, isn't it? I really like it. Beautiful. 
How long is it? It's eight and a half inches, you guys, and it's gonna be 12. There's the center. Really pretty. Okay, $12. Okay, what else do I have? There I go with the okays. I can't talk about it though, because then I'm gonna question my okays. <laughs> This is cool, you guys. I think this is glass or um, an agate. So let me test it on the machine and I will definitely tell you what it says. Okay, it reads at the same spot that the agate read at. Isn't that pretty? It's like mossy green colors and then like a, uh, like right there's like a forest green. It's very pretty. It's a nine and a half inch drop, you guys. And it is going to be $22. $22. There we go. I don't know what time I stopped my other video at. Oh, you guys, I totally forgot. I am so sorry about Friday's video that I just cut off. I battled so hard with getting that video up and then I just finally was like forget it it's not loading it's not uploading it's gonna have to go in two parts so there is a little teeny second part if you guys missed it so apologies for that okay here we go little clip-ons it's cute I like when they do this it's just the little line on the front of the earring of the little piece just that clip-ons okay so I was sold these saying this piece did she mean these two? Okay, let's just start again. I was sold these being told they were coral. Okay. And I believe it. I believe about this part. I believe that might be coral. Oh, no, you guys. Look, the gold tone's missing on that one. And the gold tone is here. Okay. Well, that really stinks. I was going to charge $12. They're two inches, but I don't want to do that with the mess there. I mean, it's not a mess, but it's there. How about we say $6? $6, you guys. And I believe this part's coral. These could be two. I'm not sure, but I believe that is. Okay. All righty. What have we got over here? All right. This is coral. You see it right there? I think it says coral. Yeah, it does say coral. I just wanted to double check. Oh, this is pretty, you guys. Look at this. That is like really pretty. I like that. Dainty and beautiful. These are like a purple color and a faux pearl. Uh, <coughs> Jeepers creepers, you guys. I'm having a hard time. Inch and three quarter. And I'm going to make this one $10. 10 And I think that I am going to sign off because I am ready to have a coughing fit. So hopefully it's just dust and it will go away and I'll be all better in a day or so. I'm not sure. <laughs> hopefully it doesn't get worse because I like talking to you guys. All right. So anyway, um, thank you so much, you guys. Thank you for being with me and hanging out. And I'll give you a little glimpse for tomorrow. <gasps> Look what I got. Look what I got. Woo woo. Jewelry jar. Woo 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 woo. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. We get a little Hello Kitty. All right, so um, tomorrow, jewelry jar. <laughs> Bye, guys.